Hello everyone. So, this is going to be uh, another issue where I review uh, The Economist. It was always breaking, broken into three parts, really. More slides than that, but just the three parts, you know, organization think, think tanks, security issues, tantalizing tangibles. So, <clears throat> I put this in a list. So sometimes I put this link in the description, sometimes I don't. If not, you can just go back to uh, the playlist and look at the descriptions. And this is essentially an index of well over a hundred uh, think tanks, pretty much dedicated to any kind of thing you could think of, from gun violence to immigration policy. So, <clears throat> uh, Mexico is being considered by many politicians and many constituents to be an enemy of the United States. Uh, this is... Okay, part of this is the stupidity of the American people. We actually get a lot of money out of Mexico through trade and, of course, uh, immigrants. But several politicians have taken swipe at it. It's been blamed on everything from the drug war. It's been, you know, narco-terrorism and actual Islamic terrorism because a few militants have tried to cross the border into America that way. Some people think of it as a failed state, which Mexico is not a failed state. It's a state in turmoil, you know, and now you have build the wall. I don't think it's any surprise that when a lot of uh, politicians and constituents are polled, it's like, oh, yes, it's an enemy. Uh, this is what basically stupidity on both the left and the right of, you know, needing to be tough on crime gets you. El Salvador. Okay. How to end a democracy. So, Danny Ortega. I'm sorry, not <laughs> Naib Bukele, uh, he seems to be going the route of Danny Ortega, who, I don't know if you know him, but he's a Nicaraguan politician who basically has become a dictator. And it seems there's a formula. Gut the courts so you can get things done quickly. Declare an emergency, because in an emergency, people give up a lot of freedom. Uh, we saw that with the stupidity over COVID-19. And uh, become popular, of all um, is a formula there. You know, the uh, Bukele said, I will end the crime crisis in El Salvador. And he has. You may not like how he does it, but crime is down. Crime is very much down. And he styled himself the world's coolest dictator. <clears throat> if we want to get the big push for electric vehicles done, we can't decouple from China. It just has too much of the resources and too much of the manufacturing capacity. I could go on, but that's about it. So there was a special report about the fertility industry. Uh, this piece for The Economist was kind of interesting. The Economist is kind of known to just uh, very coldly report the facts as is, if you will. Uh, not this time, and sometimes there's a barb of humor, but... Uh, this takes a look at the fertility industry, not only through the lens of, of course, population decline in Western countries, but the difficulty it rots on women and couples, the expensiveness of it, the multiple times that you have to try uh, for fertility and still fail. It also mentions that fertility treatments these days are being used for things that's not necessarily intended to be used for. Uh, such as women freezing their eggs so they could have children later in life and, and that stuff. So, <laughs> tantalizing uh, solar geoengineering. This is, I, I say, straight up sci-fi. There have been a lot of things bandied about uh, when it comes to global warming, how to stop it. And... One of these is a lot of soot in the atmosphere, especially the, the, the very high atmosphere, because it won't fall down immediately. And volcanoes have accidentally done this. There's a way we could do this, of course, with rockets and stuff like that on purpose. However, this is not a good idea because we don't know what the consequences would be. Yeah, there's climate modeling and stuff like that, but still, we, you know... Um, we don't want to do this for two reasons. One is we don't know the consequences. Two, uh, it will stop us from looking for solutions. You know, 
people are lazy and if we can get away with you know having our cake and eating it too we absolutely will do that sorry that that's just you know humans to a t and so i far more want us to actually you know be the country and road that gets these initiatives done with uh, zero carbon or you know whatever thank you